In the state of Alabama, few names carry more weight on the diamond than Montana Fouts. The Crimson Tide legend wrapped up an accolade-filled career earlier this month, and now she's helping mold the next generation of softball stars. Every day I wake up and I hope to be somebody that they can look up to. You know, that's something that I think about every day when I wake up. And, you know, and every everything you do is a decision. And I hope that all my decisions are, you know, best for them just because they, they are a big reason and they are a big motivator on what I do every day. And for you, seeing some of the girls, I know, wearing your jersey, some copying your windup, what's that like for you? It's surreal, honestly. I mean, that never gets old and I'm extremely grateful to be in the position that I am. But, I mean, that's just so... I don't even have the words to say what that means to me. Just I'm just really happy and grateful. And doing it all with a little help from her friends and tied teammates, Allie Shipman, Bailey Dowling, Jenna Johnson, and Lauren Esman. Well, first, I'm just so grateful for everybody that came out here today, just for camp, especially with bad weather. And, I mean, they've been so gracious as hosts here in Albertville, and they've been so helpful. So that's been awesome. And, you know, I'm really happy that the girls got to come out here because, one, they're great leaders and great people. So I'm just so happy that the girls have people like that to look up to. And I think that they're incredible human beings first and then great softball players second. So they get to learn from the best. So I'm really happy that the girls get to experience that. What's next for you? What's next? Hopefully a lot more camps and hopefully I'm going to keep training, you know, rehabbing, um, doing whatever I can to play softball for a really long time, hopefully in the next couple Olympics. Fouts and company will be back at the Sand Mountain Park and Amphitheater for the second day of the camp tomorrow. Reporting in Albertville, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.